Okay, so now it's time to put the RA axis back together again. Uh, we first start with the, actually, there's a little bit of grease on top of the gear here, so I'm going to use a little bit of that and put that on the warm over here. And also, while doing this, I'm going to inspect the whole warm that there's no debris or pieces of metal or anything like that in the grooves. Okay, that looks all good. So, let's put the um, gear back in there. Carefully turn it around. Okay, for some reason my camera just stopped, but you didn't miss much. So all I did was to put back the uh, the setting circle numbers up, and the next thing to do is to put this whole thing back in place. It's a bit tricky because right now this whole thing can very easily to come come apart. You need to align this belt with the hole in here. And try to get this whole assembly, including the bearing here, back to where it's supposed to be. And at the same time, make sure that the other bearing on the other side doesn't come off. Let's see. It's a bit trickier than I thought. So before we actually put these things back together again, the first thing to do is to make sure that the new, newly installed belt, timing belt is actually through the hole over there. And the next thing to do is to actually replace these bolts that holds this uh, housing together, but only finger tight, because we're going to have to do the final warm gear adjustment using these grub screws over here later on. So let's put these bolts back in there okay. 
They're only finger tight in there, almost not tightened up at all. So the next step is to put this uh, whole assembly back into the mount. But before I'm doing so, I actually went in and cleaned all the the metal parts that are going to be contacting here, uh, and applied a little bit new grease. And I'm using a TF2 lithium grease. And that's mainly because I was handling this so much that the old grease has actually started to be a bit contaminated and didn't look very good. Anyway. Let's pop this back in. There is a bearing in there, so that came off. Let's try to put that bearing in place first. This might look a bit brutal, but if you're careful, you just tap lightly around the bearing. You will slowly start to go in. That's that. I'm going to clean this up a little. And before I pop this back in, I'm going to apply a little bit of new grease in here where the bearing will go. Just to make it a bit easier to fit in, spread the grease around a little and we should be good to go So that's in place now. And then we're going to have to turn this back into the horizontal position and pop this tapered bearing back in. I haven't really touched this, so I'm quite sure that this is okay as is, but I am going to put a little bit of grease on the inside where the bearing will lean against Pop the bearing back in. And then I have to put the the poloscope collar back in. I've got mine still attached to the tool I showed you earlier. So I have to make sure that it's going to go the right way around. Onto the threads. And the idea here is to just tighten it enough so that you remove all the play on the uh, RA axis 
without affecting it without preventing it moving freely this is already a bit too tight we'll back off a little back off a bit more maybe a little bit more that feels pretty good now I'm going to remove the tool remove the tape as well don't need it anymore and then clean this up a bit and secure the grub screws so that's the RA axis sorted for now so a couple of things I'm gonna do before actually going into the declination axis because I realized that maybe I'm missing a page in, page in my instructions but it didn't actually tell you to put the, the clutch lever and the, and the polyscope the, the ring back in here so I'm, I'm gonna do those first before going any further with the declination axis and I believe if you just turn this back by hand and then because this uh, lever has you can position it in, in, in uh, multiple different angles so what I'm going to do I'm, I'm going to actually tighten the clutch as tight as I, was, uh, I would usually do and then position the, the lever in parallel to the RA axis and then uh, secure it in the place with the screw and now when I turn it up against the stopper I should be able to move this axis freely and lock it in any position I like so that's working properly and then I will put this ring back in using the screws that I have in the screw chart right so it seems like my camera stopped again automatically um, I don't know why it's doing that but anyway the idea is to position the the little meta metallic arrow on the top side of the mount and then just tighten up these three screws I've already done that and I believe we can actually pop the poloscope back in again but before I do so I'm going to actually take the advantage and uh, clean the lenses before I do that and then I just simply pop that back in and screw it in place replace my custom rubber cap so that's done and uh, now we can move on to the declination actions 